Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial. Today I will be talking about how to create an encrypted file container in Linux. Of course you can create an entire encrypted disk, uh, but rather instead uh, we will just create small encrypted file which is placed in the current directory and so that you can place your sensitive files there and open it only with password and close it when you no, no longer need it and nobody else can access that uh, encrypted container unless they know the password uh, so let's get started and first off we will install one package type in sudo aptitude install crypt setup hit enter after the installation is complete uh, we will initialize uh, an empty file of 1 gig you can adjust the file size later when you uh, set up it on your computer uh, let's use dd command type in dd space input file equals df0 we will fill it in with zeros output file will be just file uh, which is in the current directory and the name will be encrypted and next we need to pass in how many uh, uh, what is the block size let's say one megabyte and how many blocks uh, let's say 1024 count equals 1024 hit enter and the file will be written with zeros uh, now we can check the file, type in ls-lh, hit enter and here you can see that we have our encrypted our file which name is encrypted, the size is 1 gig but it is not encrypted, it's just an uh, empty file with all zeros for now and we are ready to start installing our encrypted container to do that type in sudo crypt setup lux format and then uh, the file name which is encrypted lux means linux unified key system this is a standard tool for encryption in linux uh, hit enter type in yes in capital and then enter the password for your container and we just created an uh, we just initialized our encrypted container uh, and we can check it uh, what is the file type by using file command type in file and then encrypted as you can see the system recognizes the file it is lux encrypted file uh, but we cannot access it yet uh, we need to open it uh, to do that, uh, type in sudo and then crypt setup again and at this time lux open and file name which is encrypted and uh, what will be the device name uh, let's say crypt1 hit enter enter the password for your container and we just opened our container as a device uh, you can uh, check uh, if it exists uh, here, type in ls the, uh, slash dev mapper and crypt1. As you can see, the device exists here, uh, so we can already access it. But if we will try to mount it into some folder, we will just see error that uh, this device is uh, not formatted properly. Uh, le actually, let's just do it. Let's create a folder mkdir and let's say decrypted and let's see it in the file manager. This is decrypted, just an empty folder and let's mount our device into that folder. Type in sudo mount and then device path to this device and 
uh, where we want to mount it. We want to mount to decrypt it. And as you can see, it says wrong file system type. Uh, it cannot be recognized. That is obvious because there is no file system there. And let's create some file system. I will clear screen and type in sudo mkfs and let's create ext4 dash j and dev and mapper and crib1 hit enter and now we have the file system in place so now we can mount our device into the folder I will type the same command sudo mount and then pass to the device and folder name where we want to mount to hit enter and let's check the folder this is our folder as you can see there is already one folder in there and let's check the permissions type in ls-la and decrypt it as you can see by default the root is owner uh, so let's fix that and type in sudo change owner and dollar sign user and dash r which means recursive and decrypt it let's check permissions again and as you can see I have my user as the owner so we can create some files there I will open the folder again and I will uh, create some empty document secret information dot txt okay so you can save some info here uh, let's say secret one I will save the file, close it, close this manager. Let's make sure we have the same file here. And if you no longer need to do anything with your encrypted folder, you can close it by doing this sudo you mount and then dev mapper crypt1 path to your device hit enter and if you try to get listing of your folder you can see that it is empty and you can try to access it with your file manager it is also empty but uh, it is not all we also need to close our device itself because it is still available in the system if you will try to list it ls dev mapper and then crypt1 it is still in there so we need to close it completely type in uh, sudo crypt setup and we want to close crypt1 oops sorry uh, we need to pass in command uh, which is lux close and then device name crypt1 hit enter and now if you try to get listing of this device it is no longer there there is no such device anymore as you can see let me clear screen so let me summarize all of the commands that you need to use from now uh, if you want to can, uh, access your encrypted folder uh, when you use it on the daily basis you no longer need to initialize format or anything of a kind you just need to use these uh, commands uh, first you need to uh, open your device using this command sudo lux uh, sudo crypt setup lux open and then path uh, to your file name which is encrypted and then how you want to uh, what will be the device of the name crypt1 it can be anything hit enter and then you need to supply your password enter 
So we just created a device and next we need to mount it. To do that type in sudo mount and then pass to your device df my pair and crypt1 and where you want to mount it. Uh, we will want to mount it to decrypted folder. Hit enter. So now you can access your encrypted files. You can check that everything still there. Close it. And if you no longer need it, you need to uh, run other two commands, uh, which are sudo and then you mount and then path to your device we just unmounted it and next we need to also close our container and delete the device type in sudo crypt setup lux close and then crypt1 hit enter so on a daily basis you only need these four commands uh, but I will also create a blog post on my uh, website where I will give detailed instructions and also I will uh, show you that how you can simplify these steps and you can even create a, two small uh, shell scripts so you can easily run it whenever you need to access your encrypted files and that's pretty much for today uh, and you can find the link uh, down below the video and thank you for watching.